Hey everyone, it's Krithika. Welcome back to my channel. I am in Nice in the south of France right now. Look how beautiful it is. This is my first time in the French Riviera, so I'm super excited to be here. And in this video, I'm taking you along with me. Good morning, everyone. Bonjour from Nice. I'm here in Nice for the next couple of days. I actually got here a day before yesterday evening. Took a train from Paris to Nice, which was around six hours long and quite a comfortable journey. Yesterday, we did a day trip to Es Village, which was really beautiful and also visited Monaco and Monte Carlo. So if you haven't watched that vlog, I'll leave a card here. Do check that out. But over the next couple of days, we decided to just stay in Nice and explore this city. Uh, I'm super excited to be here because it's my first time in the French Riviera and it's honestly so beautiful. So we're starting our day off by doing something very unique. So behind me you see Molinard which is this perfumery. Uh, so we signed up for a perfume making workshop with them. It's a one hour workshop and uh, we'll get to make our own perfume which I'm really excited about. The idea of this class is that today you will work with real perfumers. So you will follow the same steps which are normally followed with professional perfumers for making a perfume. So we just had a quick little explanation of what we're doing uh, and now we have 20 minutes to smell as many fragrances as we like and shortlist the ones uh, that we want in our final perfume. So we have to look at the top notes, the heart notes and the base notes. So let's start smelling. So basically what we've been told is whatever fragrances we like to just Get this tester out and note down the name of the fragrance. Ooh, this one's pretty good. It's almond. I think I really went overboard with how many uh, fragrances I've shortlisted. Look at this. That's how many I've got. And I've kind of leaned towards more sweet and floral fragrances, which is usually what I prefer. So yeah, let's see what the final perfume smells like. I'm very excited. Yeah, that smells really good. Okay, now we have to do a bit of trial and error and see what combination I want to finally go with. But honestly, they're all smelling so good. So it's really, really hard to like pick just one. So we're kind of exchanging scents to see what the others created. Uh, it's not final. Yeah, mine's more like floral and sweet, which I know you're not like the biggest fan of. Yeah, and mine's like slightly heavier, which I know you're not. <laughs> mm. Very different to mine. Oh, <laughs> completely. <laughs> Yeah, yours is like floral and fruity and very nice. I and feel like my upbeat. perfume taste is very opposite to my personality, <laughs> which is not the most like floral and sweet. Oh my god, this smells really good though. Oops. Yeah, like for a floral and fruity fragrance, this is really nice. It's you just really like it. I feel like you're judging. No, 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 I actually like it. It's just like I'm confused. <laughs> So we have like a formula that they've given us for our perfume and uh, each of the fragrances needs to go in like a different uh, proportion. We also have a nice bottle so yeah we're gonna get down to actually making the perfume now. So we're starting with 7 ml of amber. Oh my god this actually smells so good. I love it. So we're done here and this is my perfume. This was honestly such a nice experience. This was so unique. I enjoyed it a lot. And we get to take like a custom souvenir back home. And the really cool thing is that they give you like a formula for your perfume. So if you want to order it again in the future, you can just um, use this to order it again. But anyway, next uh, we have actually booked a walking tour for ourselves, which we're getting late for. So quickly gonna wrap up here and head to the walking tour. Full stop. I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening and midnight Such a wonderful So believe it or not, the windows on this building are actually painted on. Not real windows. Forgo Give up everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow 
unexpected love was found. So our walking tour is roughly two and a half hours long and I really enjoy doing them because you just end up learning so much uh, about like the history and just like unique stories about spots that you'd otherwise miss because we kind of did walk along the promenade the day we got here but we didn't really know all the cool stories behind it. So this is apparently the oldest candy shop in Nice built for the aristocrats. Looks very fancy. Let's go check it out. a really pretty place and right opposite it is the opera house which is also a really nice looking building so, slow. so we're kind of halfway into our walking tour we've come to this spot in the middle of old town uh, and every single day here except for mondays there's actually a flower market and like a farmer's market there's some interesting local food that i want to try out especially the soccer which is basically like these chicky pancakes I see a really long line to get some soccer, so definitely have to come back here for that. But honestly, this market is such a nice vibe. Reminds me of Indian food actually. <laughs> Lots of Indian flavors. This is really good. I'm so glad we got this because it's actually kind of hungry and it's such a great snack. done with the walking tour and we ended our tour on top of Castle Hill. This is the view from here. It's so insanely beautiful. Also I really enjoyed this walking tour. In general I'm a fan of walking tours but this one in particular I feel like our guide was great. It lasted three hours long which is more than uh, most walking tours that I've done but we covered a lot of different spots and our guide had so many like fun uh, stories for us throughout this tour. So really enjoyed it. I'll leave a link to it in the description. Uh, but yeah, I think we're just gonna chill here for some time because honestly the view from here is just amazing. There are also really nice viewpoints if you go a little further away from the city. I'm not sure we're gonna have the time or the energy to do that. But yeah, this view is insane. So that in the back is Castle Hill which is where we were. Just came down to the promenade now and uh, we kind of wanted to like sit at one of the restaurants by the promenade and have food and just enjoy the view. So just gonna walk and find a place to eat. Back there is Movida, the restaurant where we were sitting. That salad was amazing and I think totally worth visiting for the view. I feel like we have done so much today. The perfume making workshop that we did was literally 8 hours ago. So we have covered a lot of things. So it's been quite a productive day and I'm really loving Nice so far. Also I feel like Nice is a very walkable city. Uh, we've basically been walking around the entire day and our hotel is also very centrally located. It was just a 10 minute walk from Old Town. So it's in a really nice location and our hotel was booked by this company called GT Holidays. They're a travel company from India based in South India and they've actually booked my uh, some of my hotels in the past and also organized some of my tours as well. And if you're looking to plan a trip and need some help with your visas, itinerary, 
itinerary uh, hotel bookings and flight bookings things like that then definitely get in touch with them they also customize your tours which is great so uh, i'll leave the details in the description in case you want to get in touch with them but the view in front of me right now the sun is about to set and it is looking so beautiful i feel like now is the perfect time to just sit on the beach and enjoy the sunset so that's what we're going to be doing you're the leaves in me So Preeti and I are kind of just chilling here on the beach. The sun has just set, and uh, I don't think I've ever been to a pebble beach before. Have you? I have actually in Italy. Most of the beaches are oh, pebble really? beaches. Oh really? I feel yeah. like I may have been. I don't know. This just feels very new to me. But it's so smooth. <laughs> So our guide today was uh, actually showing us that they have chocolate that looks like pebbles on this beach which I thought was really interesting. I wish it was warmer and we could get into the water because the water looks so calm and really nice but after today I feel like I definitely have to come back to Nice again in the summertime because it is just so beautiful and I definitely want to come back for longer and do more of the French Riviera. But yeah this is so beautiful. Good morning everyone. It's our last day in Nice. I can't believe how quickly time flew by over here. So today we don't really have anything on our agenda. Uh Nice, I feel like you can sort of cover the city in one day, but there are lots of really nice things to do around Nice. But because we're here in January, I feel like this is off season and not much happens. So all the day trips that happen from Nice aren't really happening. We can go and explore those places on our own but we've had a hectic couple of days so we figured today we'll just take it easy and have nothing on our agenda just walk around so right now we're in old town we checked this out yesterday as well during our walking tour and it's a really nice part of Nice looks very beautiful so kind of just going to walk around and see what the day has in store for us I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day So this year is kind of the main shopping street I think there are lots of like popular stores here and uh, kind of tempted to shop not going to lie so might just come back here in the evening to do some shopping I'm going to let the sun shine in the day and I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of people talking and the wind blowing in the kind of just been walking around having the most laid back day and i really like having these kind of days when i'm traveling because i feel like when you're non stop doing sightseeing it really gets to you and this is like a really nice way to explore a city just walking around no agenda as such and uh, yeah it's been really fun yeah, what do you think yeah it's been so chill like we had a slow morning and then we're just like strolling around now looking for a place to get lunch yeah it's a nice vibe it's nice oh i will open up my eyes so i can see the light oh and i'll try to spread my wings so i can fly oh and the darkness starts to fade feels like things are gonna go my way i'm gonna let the sun shine in the day So we've spent all afternoon walking around. Uh we were really hungry, but somehow I think uh I don't know if it's cuz it's winter time or our timing is just off. I feel like all the restaurants here are just um even though they say they're open on Google Maps they're shut. So anyway, we've come to this really random restaurant for lunch. It's actually an American restaurant, not what we expected to eat in Nice, but we ordered some I got I've gotten myself some quesadillas. Really hungry, so this is all we could get right now. be filled with smoke and that will try to fix what has been broken and take this weight off my shoulders cuz i know yeah so we've made it back to the promenade this is where the promenade starts i think it's 8 kilometers long and goes up to the airport This is such a stunning view and the sound of these waves is just so relaxing. The sun is about to set. It just looks so beautiful. I honestly feel like I don't want to move from this spot. This isn't even the best spot I feel for the views, but honestly just the sound of the waves and the sunset view is making me not want to move from here. Open up my eyes so I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly.
morning everyone so i am at the airport right now in nice and i'm taking a flight from nice to london and our time at nice was just so wonderful nice is such a beautiful and chill place i 100 percent want to come back in fact even the airport lounge here is just so chill i've never seen sun loungers in the airport lounge so this is like a very relaxed vibe and i'm here in the month of january but i feel like may and september like the off shoulder seasons might be the best time to visit so if you're planning a trip you want to keep that in mind i do think summer months would be nice here but probably very expensive and crowded but nevertheless uh, i really enjoyed my time in nice and i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you all next time from another vlog from london bye